It's your boy Will back on another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, I'll be talking about Camber Energy, ticker symbol CEI. The stock boomed this morning during um, after market and pre-market, and I had a lot of questions about it. Okay, so I'll give you guys an update, and depending on how it moves throughout the day, I'll give you guys an update when the market is closed. Okay, so just a quick update. Let's go ahead and zoom in. I'll give you guys some new levels if there are any, and then we'll explain it. Okay, so this is the five-minute chart. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, turn your post notifications, and always, always share out the video to your friends and family. And hopefully you guys enjoy the update, okay? Oh, and also, um, about like 30 minutes or so, I'll make another video um, on Prague. I know you guys had a lot of questions about Prague, so I'll make an update video on that as well. So, uh, see, I closed around $1.10, and it opened up $1.30. Had a lot of people asking me, are the levels still active? Yes, they are, okay? You can clearly tell we had a resistance level at one dollars and forty cents. Look at the resistance at pre-market. That's already one sign of bearishness. Okay, these levels are active during aftermarket and pre-market. I just like them hitting during normal hours. Okay, but they're still active aftermarket and pre-market. So when this hit right here, this is already a sign that is bearishness. Okay, so all the move happened during aftermarket and pre-market. If you can tell, okay, look how many times it hit that buying level, shot up right to the exit, okay. Now, something else that I've been noticing price has been doing this a lot, doing the move all aftermarket and pre market, like they don't want us to get in a play, and then during normal hours, it just drops, okay. You see, our resistance came, had a little price above it, pushed through, came back up. Now, what you want to look for today is once if this $1.40 area acts as support, this can be a buying level today, okay? It could be a buying level for a nice scout play. So let's zoom out to the 90 day, 30 minute chart. Okay, so if this 140 actually acts as a support today, like say price comes back above it and you start seeing a support, that can be an entry right around 140. And then I will say, you get a quick exit of around 160. Okay, so let's put a let's make this level right here. Let's make it orange. That's like a warning. Okay, so if this one for you access support today, that could be a buying level. Wait for that buying pressure to come in though, and then could get an exit of around 160 for a nice profit of about 15 percent. Or if it act, keeps acting as resistance, right? Keep acting as resistance as it is now, and it pulls down. We're still looking for around that 115, 114 area. Even though it did hit after market, I'm still looking for that area to hit. Okay. In between here, we just have to let price kind of just move. Okay. So that's your update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Make sure you check out the buy and sell signals if you want to know I'm buying and selling for options and shares. Link below in the description, pin in the comments. Also, you can use Will50 off to get $3 off the stock market options crash course. And also check out my second channel on crypto, Will Knowledge Crypto, okay? Without further ado, always remember, not to buy or sell so anything that's for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.